What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, um, we got to talk about something strange that happened, uh, I want to say a day ago, maybe two days ago. I'm not sure. I seen it on social media on Twitter and I kind of wanted to, you know, talk about it because I, I found it quite weird. Apparently, these uh, eco environmentalists, you know, people that are trying to speak up against, you know, what's going on in the world's environment or whatnot apparently they said you know what we're gonna voice our displeasure with what's going on in the world by throwing some soup on the mona lisa picture i don't know if y'all seen this i'm gonna show y'all a clip of this it's kind of you know circulating right now on social media it's very interesting kind of a weird way to you know show your displeasure on what's going on in the uh in the world like the climate or whatnot or the ecosystem you're not happy with it so you know you voice your opinion by throwing some soup on the mona lisa but we're gonna check this out this is uh very interesting and weird man as you see the title eco idiots that's funny i like that eco idiots look at this I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they work for the museum. I'm not sure. Looks like they're trying to. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is very strange. What you just watched was two environmental activists attacking one of the world's most famous artworks. Yeah, but that that's literally, literally it. I, I, there's a longer clip of them, I think more um, more people from the museum or whatnot. They, they, you know, they kind of have those little barriers to kind of cover up, even though you can still see them. You know, it's a large area and you see the Mona Lisa covered in fucking Campbell's soup. I don't know. It's just very weird because it's like, how does that solve anything? What does that do? Like you throwing some soup on the Mona Lisa that's protected by, as y'all seen, like that huge ass glass, like nothing's getting in there, you know, like nothing is going to touch that painting. So you throwing your, your favorite flavored Campbell soup on it to what, what does that do? How does that, I don't know, promote your cause even more? Like, we we already know about the climate and, and, and the shape it's in. We, we already know that. So I'm trying to figure out how does throwing soup on the Mona Lisa help out any situation? Help out your situation in particular. That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's like that's like if the Black Lives Matter movement, which you know, they, mm, mm, if you know, you know it, <laughs> it. It it definitely didn't end the way it was supposed to as it initially started. But that's if the Black Lives Matter movement said, you know what, we're gonna go here and we're gonna throw I don't know some soda. Some grape soda. Yes, I'm being part of the stereotype. We're going to throw some grape soda onto the Mona Lisa and stop police brutality. How does that help stopping police brutality? What, we're, we're telling people that they, what people already know? That How is that going to help? That, that's what I'm saying. Like, your attempt to make the situation known more, even though it's already known, by throwing soup on, Mo on the Mona Lisa picture does nothing 
to your cause. The same way as me throwing some grape soda on a Mona Lisa picture does nothing to stop police brutality. People already know this. You're going to have to find another way to get people's attention. I mean, yeah, you got people's attention, but people are just looking at you like, okay. All right, thanks. The, the real question is, did they walk to the museum or did they get inside a transportation vehicle that requires gas, which the gas is released and the fumes out the exhaust that, you know, causes more problems for the climate. If if we're going to get into that bag, if we're going to if we're going to do that, did they did they walk there? Did they have someone drop them off there? Did they Uber there? Did they Uber in a electric vehicle? Like I, these are questions you got to ask if you're going to go to this length to promote climate change. I don't know. There's just better ways to do that. I, I thought it was kind of cringe, to be honest with you, because all you did was just sit there and look stupid. You just wasted soup all on the Mona Lisa picture. I'm sure they're probably going to get fined for that, too. So what? at what point does this help anything? The climate is still going to be in the bad shape that it's in. Congratulations. Thanks. Now the Mona Lisa's dirty. We got to clean that off. Thanks. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you think this is the best route to, you know, address your whatever situation you're protesting? You think this is the best route to go to the Mona Lisa picture and just throw random objects on it? Random liquids on it? Is that that's the way we're going to be protesting in 2024? I got an issue with you. I got an issue, not with you, or an issue with a certain situation that's happening right now. You know what? I'm going to take a random trip. going to go see the Mona Lisa. And, you know, I'm going to pour some chicken grease on it. I don't know. Throw some orange juice on it. Hey, maybe I'll throw some water on it. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Roll to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.